What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to West Coast Sneakers. I'm your host, D-Lo. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's doing well. Now, I need everybody to watch the whole video. Please don't skip it. You know, this video is very, very important. Um, and the information in it is very vital, especially to those, you know, who I think have a problem with getting sneakers for retail or you know have a problem with resellers this um, this video will really help out uh, those people in that category but I need everybody you know whether you're a reseller or you're not I need everybody to you know listen to this video because it has like I said it has information that is very very vital and I think it could be something that could cause a change in the sneaker community. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screen record my phone, uh, the video that we're gonna be looking at today, and I'm gonna try not to pause the video a lot, but after each piece of information is thrown at us, I'm gonna, you know, pause the video, I'm gonna try to break it down and see what, you know, we're gonna try to see what's going on in the video and try to come up with an explanation before we do that if you're new here make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that little bell for a notification for when I upload if you already been here with us make sure you smash that thumbs up button helps the boy out with the algorithm and I appreciate it very very much all right y'all so without further ado let's get straight into this video okay so I was on Twitter the other day and I was scrolling through my feed and I've gotten this random notification from an account that I don't even follow, which is kind of weird. But it had something to do with Foot Locker and FLX. And it was showing these four prototypes. But the person who tweeted it had mentioned that they saw this after they did a, a survey. And it was these four prototypes that had something to do with the way... Um, the FLX system looks. I'm not sure if it was to improve anything or it was just simply just for looks. Um, I just saw the video, but I didn't, you know, I didn't like watch the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I like, I just saw it. But I wanted to make this video because I wanted to watch this video with y'all and break down what is going on in the video and explain what we're looking at. So, like I said, I'm gonna screen record it right now, and it should pop up on either this side or this side, whichever one I put it on. But just let it pop up. And like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna pause, but you know, I'm gonna try not to pause too much. All right. So let that video pop up right there, and let's get the details rolling. Okay, so I got the screen recording um, going on right now, and it should pop up now. Okay, as you can see, you can see everything on my screen. It says, the caption says, took a Foot Locker survey. They're testing out four new styles for their app reservations. Which do you like best? Shout out to Boost X Air Max for, you know, tweeting out this video. Um, even though we don't follow each other, but shout out to you, brother. Um, so as you can see, you can see everything I'm looking at. It says prototype one, and it says it's time head to see your reservation to see if you're locked in. So basically, what we see is generally just the usual. But let's let's press play and see what it's showing us. A rocket launch reservation when you click it. Okay. Just copped. So to me, it looks like Foot Locker is just trying to do a got him screen for this one. Which is cool and all, makes it more exciting instead of just showing, hey, you know, you got the reservation, come pick it up at this time. That's cool, but this is not necessarily what we need, Foot Locker. We just don't want the app to crash. Like, you're a good company and all, but your whole system is just trash. I'm sorry to say, like, no offense, but you guys could do better, honestly. You guys can do better. Anyways, let's resume the video. Okay, now we're going to graphic two, prototype two. What's going on? Okay, it says the same thing as it says, you know, what we generally see. 
click on it congrats just a different got him screen okay that was useless um, prototype 3 okay this one's different this one says email head to your reservation to see if you're locked in if they do this okay I'm gonna just get into that later but I need everybody to watch the the rest of this video bro because I just got an idea in my head and I just got something in my head that I need to speak out on and I need everybody to hear it so just watch the whole video click on it all right and it shows up in the email I like that one I like that prototype prototype 4 congratulations you were selected so it looks like it just tells you straight away now that one's good as well um, let me just stop screen recording and let's get back onto just the camera okay so as you can see my two favorites are prototype 3 and prototype 4 now I like prototype 4 because it tells you when actually it tells you right away that you got the pair but the thing is like the confirmation you know what I'm saying like how will that work will I will the the app lag will it crash like it does does this help the the server from crashing that's that's all we care about you know we we care that we win and we lose but most importantly like we just want to be able to confirm uh, whether we won or lost and that's something I feel like Foot Locker really needs to pay attention to as a company instead of trying to make it look all good and stuff like that for design and show and everything they should instead implement something where as the sneakers app does with the whole west region central and east i feel like that is the reason why like when you do the sneakers app pass it doesn't really crash like it used to because they do that's why they do the 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 regionals you know what i'm saying and i feel like that's a very very good idea and Foot Locker should take from something like that now on to one and two um you know what i'm saying i'm not really surprised about that it's just a got screen and like i said they could do better we honestly don't need a Gotham screen, but like if you want to throw a Gotham screen in there with some good server that doesn't crash, that would be great. That would be fantastic, Foot Locker. Um, love what you're doing, but um, we just don't want the servers to crash, man. And we rather you fix that than try to give us a Gotham screen. <laughs> now on to, I think it was Prototype Three. Yes, Prototype Three was the email. Now, I need everybody to listen to this. If you made it to the end of this video, this information is very, very vital. And it's like the most important one. So basically, um, the whole email thing is, it, it could be a game changer, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Because one, I'm going to just put it out there. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. People buy Foot Locker accounts. And all of this, you know what I'm saying, many Foot Locker accounts for the points and stuff like that. And that is why you see people get multiples and you're like, what, how, you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why you got your L. People are able to build up these points and stuff like that simply because of them buying accounts. And then selling it to other people and everybody just putting in their money into these into these accounts and they're just building up the points together but basically um, what I was going to tell you all is if they do this email it will be a lot harder for people who are doing these multiple accounts and buying these accounts to actually get these pairs because I know that people who are giving or who are selling these accounts to to other people, they don't want to give their personal information out. They're not going to give them the, you know, Gmail to sign up with and all of that. So 
I feel like if Foot Locker Im implements that, that's going to be, you know, game over, bro. Like, it's going to be a game changer, and it's going to be hard to, you know, it's going to be something very, very hard to get around. Because even if they make, oh, I make a dummy email, what if somebody else, they sell it to, you know what I'm saying, um, gets the whole email and everything, they change the password and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's... It's gonna be pretty intense for people who are selling these accounts and stuff like that. So it's gonna be hard to get around if they really do this email. Now, if they do that, I feel like it will be a better shot for people who generally don't get pairs. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's a good thing because we wanna get uh, pairs into the hands of people, you know, who actually want them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against resale, but I, I like seeing people happy, you know, being able to wear their shoes and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, the question is to y'all. Do y'all think Foot Locker should implement the new FLX system or keep the one that we have right now? Comment down in the comment section below. Which one out of all the four would you rather see implemented and why? With that being said, y'all, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This is West Coast Sneakers. I'm your host, d -Lo, and I am signing out.